start your countdown and grab your protective eyewear. We are now exactly four years away from the next total solar eclipse. And this time around, you're gonna have one of the best views in the entire world without even leaving your backyard. I'm explaining in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. Western New York caught a little piece of that last total solar eclipse on August 21st, 2017, when a shadow cast by the moon appeared to pass right in front of the sun. Thousands of us gathered at watch parties and looked up at exactly 2.31 p.m. to see 77% of the solar disk blocked by the moon. That was all awesome to experience, and it definitely brought out everyone's inner geek, but the 2024 total solar eclipse will, well, eclipse 2017s because this time, Buffalo will be right in the path of totality. Actually, we may be the most well-positioned major city in the whole country. Here's what it'll be like to experience totality. Starting at 2.04 p.m. on Monday, April 8th, 2024, the moon's shadow will start to slowly pass in front of the sun's disk. It'll be a fairly slow process without much really changing around us for the first 20 minutes or so. By 2.45 p.m., the sky around us will be getting noticeably darker as the moon blocks out more of the sun's rays. We'll be getting less energy from the sun at that point, so the temperature will actually start to drop a little bit too. Totality for this eclipse will begin at 3.18 p.m. and last for 3 minutes and 45 seconds. By this point, the temperature could drop 10 to 20 degrees, mimicking nightfall. And the sky will resemble a sunset unlike any you've seen, because the colors of this sunset will be visible in any direction you look. During totality, a telescope or a pair of binoculars may allow for a cool view of lunar mountains or solar flares. By 4.36 p.m., the whole event will be over. Of course, the full experience of totality heavily relies on one thing, the weather. And April in Buffalo isn't exactly known for bright blue sunshine like this, but really all we need is a few minutes of luck and a few breaks in those clouds to really see a great show. And here's hoping that uh, we get a little bit of luck around here because the next total solar eclipse isn't until 2045. That's it for this week's Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember it's good to be a geek.